I'm gonna get ready to dive into it. A little better. Maybe shut the line below. Okay, that should work. Mm. <clears throat> shut the line. Rock it down your hallway. Rock it down your hallway shine. Rock it down your hallway. Rock it down your hallway shine. Call her name now, Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh shine. By Hashem, we're clock to dash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh shine. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad. Double honor and respect to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. Fear not my servant Jacob. Fear not my servant Jacob. So if you've been following the news, there was a report of a global outage and what are the implications of that? Not being able to draw money out of the bank. Not being able to get gas. Not being able to travel. Can't even print flight passes or flight vouchers. So we've been talking about this a long time, starting with the apostles and elders. That this place is going to be lights out. And one of the other things that stood out to me was no 911. How can you call 911 when there's an electrical outage? <clears throat> so, this is the crucial time right now to walk in the fear of the Lord. The Most High controls everything. So, He's getting ready to turn up the heat on the unbelievers, the mockers, the scoffers the doubters, the naysayers, and he's going to use this devil to do it. Sleazy E, none other than Rome, Esau, the devil. Because there's a lot of wickedness going on. Matter of fact, I'll start there. So remember, everything is done in balance. Even if you feel that somebody does you wrong, don't try to take vengeance on them. The Lord is going to deal with them if they remain unrepented. Let's go here. Second Ezra 15. <clears throat> the book of Second Ezra 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So we are the mouthpiece of the Lord, moving in fear. Whenever we submit unto him, he begins to whisper to us his secrets, his will, to warn his flock. This is not man-made, by the way. Everything we've told you this devil is going to do, he's moving right now. He has no choice because the Most High is pulling his strings and calls them to be written in paper 
for they are faithful and true. Nothing in this book has ever failed. The historians know this. This is why the Bible cannot be contested or debated. Because everything that the historians study, what we're finding out, it was already foretold in the scriptures. So this is a powerful book. <clears throat> Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. What is incredulity? Unbelief. Yep. Brother Gabar Ayash, Proverbs 21 and 2. Every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the heart. So the Most High uses angels to work on our mind. Just like somebody that might do the wrong thing to you, the Most High is going to put some thoughts in that individual's mind to cause them to self-destruct. So this is why we got to fear the Lord and walk in his fear. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So you have unbelievers like Vocab Malone trying to challenge the validity of the Bible. Why has the Bible survived all these years if it's fake? Why do the elites, they validate it as a book to teach their scholars, their theological scholars? What are some of the big name schools? Princeton, help me out. There's, there's a few of them. Princeton is one of them. Starts with a C. But the bottom line is Yale, Princeton. So they understand that this Bible is a true book. So the top theological scholars, the Bible is used as their primary text. Even riches use the Bible. On the left hand side, Cambridge, thank you. That's the one. Whenever you see a book, the Bible has Cambridge University, that's telling you that the global elite understands this is a true book. Cambridge scholar, before they introduce one of their theologians, what do they tell you? He is a Cambridge scholar. <laughs> Come on, man. So Sleazy E knows. The devil knows. The devils know and fear and tremble. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you. Where's that at? Let's get it. He is a Cambridge scholar. You see, not just a Negro from, from Harlem. So they even know that this Bible carries power. Cambridge, thank you. Where's that at? Even the devils know and tremble. Let's go to James 2. One moment. Yeah, James 2 and 19. Let's go to 18. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So if we're walking in fear, then that does not correlate to faith. When you go into that word doubt, it breaks down into a double mind, two faiths. For example, speaking against the brotherhood, but yet claiming to be in the truth. Remember, the Most High is rebuilding the tabernacle of David, which are multiple stones, lively bricks joined together. So to stand up and speak against the leadership that he has in place makes you a hypocrite and not understand the Bible. So if we believe we're going to exhibit that through our works, our traits, or characteristics. James 2 and 19.
thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. You can't make this stuff up, man. <laughs> That's why you got your Cambridge scholar, your Princeton theologians. The devils also believe and tremble. Why you think they gave us Jebus? Don't worry about calling on him. We can't even say his name. It's forbidden. It's forbidden to even quote his name. Preposterous, you know. But we're just going to tell you just call on Jebus. So they know this Bible carries power. And they fear at it. Why you think the Bible says a great fear fell upon them that saw them? So these devils are trembling. Oh my God. They know they're not black. They know they're not Negroes. Oh my God. It's true. See, they're terrified. Remember that scared lion in the, in the, in the movie uh, Wizard of Oz? That's Sleazy E right now. A scared lion. Well, why don't you try counting sheep? I'm afraid of them. That's Sleazy right now. Let's go to Brother Gabar Ayash, Ezekiel 28 and 3. Ezekiel 28 and 3. So this man is terrified. The lost sheep of the house of Israel is waking up. That's why that scared lion is terrified. Sleazy E. And if you got sympathy for the devil, then you're a part of the problem. You're not born again. I'm just telling you. <clears throat> Ezekiel 28 and 3. See? Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. So on the left hand side, evil E has theologians, theological scholars. And this is one of the reasons why Vocab Malone has been given a charter. He's traveled to Europe, messing with the brothers in the UK. He's traveled to Dallas, Virginia. You see, if I'm not mistaken, even Detroit. See? So this man, it takes money to do that. He's backed by money. Even Cleveland, most recently, the Cleveland brothers. You see? So if the Bible is not a true book, who's paying this man for all this travel to go and challenge the Bible and question its validity? Yep, Brother Gambar, hey gosh, Job 15 and 21. A dreadful sound is in his ears, and prosperity, the destroyer, shall come upon him. So this truth is dreadful unto the wicked. Why you think the Bible says that Esau lifted up his head and wept when he was told his destiny, that he's going to serve his brother Jacob? See? So really, this thing is spiritual. There's a deep, resonant sound that he has heard before. You see, he shall be thy Lord. So now this prophecy is becoming more vivid, more real. The elites are terrified. How I many saw the video out of LA? The brothers out of GMS LA. They said one of the men of the Millionaire Club stopped by and said these Edomites are terrified. They're getting ready to lose their wealth and give it up. See? So really, this is a deep spiritual reminiscence. You see? He shall be thy Lord. Thou shalt serve thy brother Jacob. It's like a nightmare of these words ringing in his ears. Tinnitus on steroids. You know, he's like, ah! You know, ah! Like that. You can't you can't defeat Bible prophecy. Let's keep going. <clears throat> not going to make this long, but my voice won't stand up to it. Let's go ahead and get that great fear. So these devils are scared. They're scared. Yes, yeah, sir, they're scared. Don't be scared. No, don't be scared. Let's go back to Ezekiel 28 and 3. Behold. Thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. So this man would go up and dig up artifacts 
of the same route that the ancient Israelites took coming out of Egypt. <clears throat> Pull up artifacts, you see, and they'll look up scrolls and little tablets so they know. But they don't know from a spiritual gift of faith. They got to put their hands on it, so to speak. If they can't measure it or see it, then it's not valid, in other words. So he's a carnal man with left-hand side black magic and witchcraft. He was not given the gift of faith, but he knows because he's using carnal means or physical measures and instruments. So one of the ways to try to defeat the truth, well, we're just going to black it out. Let's just shut down the grid. You see, this internet has gotten out of hand, or it can no longer be controlled. So now the governorship is losing their ability to maintain control of the message. They're losing their grip on the message. You cannot put the Most High's word in a bottle and just throw it in the sea somewhere. Let's go to Revelation 11 and 11. <clears throat> Revelation 11. Let's go to verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. So the devils also believe and tremble. They know the name, but they're terrified of it. You see, they know. So those that are in the know are losing sleep at night. You see, every little thing that moves, you see, oh, what was that? You see, they don't know when your harvest is getting ready to crack those skies. You know, my brother's in the, in the, you know, in the drug game. You know, let me go ahead and throw it out there. So one day, I'm walking with him to the store. This was years ago. We was in high school. And there was a vehicle driving by. And he hurry up and yank me down behind the vehicle. Talking about, get down, get down. I'm like, what the hell? So when you ain't living right, every little thing that moves, you're paranoid. That's sleazy E. That's the devil. Same thing. You see, what, what, what was that? You saw that interview with Charles Ramsey out of Cleveland? You see, Amanda Berry? And you heard that siren? Whoop, whoop, whoop. He was like, you know, that's sleazy E right now. Yup. Malachi 1 and 14. Let's go there. Well, the devils also know and tremble. <clears throat> Malachi 1 and 14. Let's get that. <clears throat> but cursed be the deceiver which hath in his flock a male and voweth and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So they knew that we would fall. And the Masoretes, when they put in the holy name, they tried to change it. But through the Holy Spirit, we know his name. So they gave us God and Lord and Jesus. And if you got a 1611 Bible, it's Jesus in there. So they try to make it a Greek name. Worshiping a Greek God, Serapis Christus. That's the devil. That, that our people was worshiping under the Greeks, you see, for about 400 years. Serapis Christus. That's the devil. He would come back as Jesus Christ. I'm just telling you. Somebody, I know Big Mama gonna get offended, you know, with a blonde wig and dusting off that image. You see, well, that's okay, though. We're gonna keep it moving anyway. Let's keep going. We'll get ready to close out. Can't make this long. So what the devil did through feminism and Edomite supremacist tyranny, he promoted abominations, feminism, and, and, and women's live, and all kinds of madness. Look at these badass kids walking around here. Disrespectful, very effeminate, emotional. A lot of our young boys, they can't even make a decision. You see? And then when you correct them, they just fall apart and melt like microwave marshmallows. 
That's how soft a lot of our men are. Absolutely worthless. Worthless. But that was all by design by, by these high-level wicked global elite. Your Cambridge scholars, if you will. All by design. Let's get ready to close out here. So when the Bible is saying, fear not by servant Jacob, servant goes back to service which means being humble or meek, not proud, and walking without faith. <clears throat> so these outages is showing us little beta tests as to the big event that's coming, where you can't buy or sell, where you can't travel, where you can't call 911. So quite naturally, many people that lack faith they're going to be driven to go to these internment facilities to be in process in. To get digitally stamped, tagged, and tracked. Go ahead and give it to me there, boss. I know you're going to take care of me there, boss. I'm not worried about what's going on here in these streets, boss. If you can receive me, I'm here to submit unto you, master. Or the Lord is going to kill you after you submit to the devil. I'm just telling you, you can get mad all you want. You emotional men, the Lord is going to eliminate you from off the face of the earth. You damn microwave marshmallows. Let's go here to Isaiah 44 and 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Yeshurun, whom I have chosen. So the Lord is sending us a message in these last days. Don't go off what we see. Go off what we can't see. That little whisper in our ear. I got you. Be not afraid. I will save you, saith the Lord. You see? Have the Lord said, and shall he not do it? All types of scripture should be going through our mind. The Lord is not a man that he can lie. Neither the son of man shall he say it and shall he not do it. Now that I butchered it, now I got to get it. Damn. Because I just butchered it. My goodness gracious. The spirit is like, go ahead and pull it up because I didn't say that. Yes, sir. Because I know I just butchered it. Let's go to, I think it's Numbers 23. I'm going to want to buy this book out. Book out. Let's see. Yeah, Numbers 23. Yeah, Numbers 23 and 19. All these scriptures are designed to keep us on straight and narrow and not falter. So the winds blow. You're still walking on that small, narrow road or tight walk, tight rope. You see, the rains and storms are coming. You're still walking. Keep your eye on the prize. See that? Yeah, we'll get that next, Brother GMS Endure. Mark 5 and 36. Let's go to Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? So we got to believe in what we read. Trying to be a one-man army like Goliath and be separate from the body, you're going to get knocked up. Ow! You got knocked up. Ow! You see? We well, don't really believe in what you're reading. You see? It's coming against the body of work, the lively stones, then you're bugged out. The Lord is going to kill you too. Still being an effeminate man or masculine woman, or your blood is going to be stained on the judgments of the Lord. Let's go to Mark 5 and 36. So there's a lot of talk in the good game. Jake is a supplanter. That's why don't talk my head off or making threats on what you're going to do. You're not going to do anything. Just ignore Jake. They love to just sound good. You don't know me. I go back to the old school. You ain't going to do nothing. Just learn to ignore Jake. They know how to talk a good game. You ain't going to do nothing. Let's go to Mark 5 and 36. 
I'm just going to look at you and ignore you. No matter how much or what you say, you got to learn to ignore Jake. They know how to put on a good show. Mark 5 and 36. My brother GMS endure. As soon as Shai heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. So Shai can read thoughts. He knows who's sincere and who believes. So we're not walking in a spirit of fear. Remember, the devils are trembling. They know and tremble. But through the Holy Spirit, our faith keeps us upright, unmovable, unshakable by the, the mainstream narratives, the threats, the fear. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> Whatever, you see? Inside joke. Don't believe the hype. Sleazy E talking about, you know, Terror is coming. You can't call 911. You can't go out and shop and buy. Or the Lord is going to make sure we're full and, and, and fed, sleazy E. We're not worried about the Caveman News Network or CNN. Ignore these devils. Let's go back to Isaiah 44 and 2. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just ignore these devils. Isaiah 44 and 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and form thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Geshurun, whom I have chosen. So the Lord is not going to lie or deny salvation to his anointed, those that tremble at his word and fear his holy name. There's more. Sound like a damn serial commercial. There's more. Jeremiah 30 and 10. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. So these orangutans, these wicked two-third jakes, they're not going to bother us no more. Neither are these red, sleazy, hairy beasts. We're going to be at peace entering into the kingdom. But with great tribulation, we got to get through the, the smoke, the clouds of darkness and terror. Tribulation. But once the smoke clears of tribulation, then we're going to enter into the kingdom. So don't worry about the caveman and these wicked two-third gorillas. Don't worry about them. Ignore them. Let's close out with one more. <clears throat> Jeremiah 46 and 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob. To serve means we're, we're, we're submissive. The Most High is not dealing with a proud Negro trying to build a one-man militia. Or be Dr. Phil for Israel. All right? And I actually like that, brother. From a personal standpoint. Shaba ranks. Shaba. A personal level. But on a spiritual level, brother, you need a lot of spiritual growth. The Most High is not dealing with a one-man show like one-man army Goliath. Okay? Dr. Phil for Israel. Bug out. Bug out. And this is why we got to seek counsel from the big bros or the elders and the apostles, Dr. Phil of Israel. Jeremiah 46 and 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, behold, look here. That's like the most high is a Jake. He speaks like that. Look here. Behold, look here. To get our attention. Because Jake loves to do their own thing. Smoking a black and mouth and, and looking at something else. Easily distracted. A short attention span. Jeremiah 46 and 27. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, 
I will save thee from afar off and thy seed from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease and none shall make him afraid. So this devil is getting ready to go into slavery. So how is he going to terrorize us if he's in chains? How can the devil terrorize us if he's in chains? Okay, if you got a dog on a leash, you know, you're like, I had it, I, you know, doing all types of stuff. I, you know, he can't get to you. He tries to run and charge and get, get jerked, you know, get jerked up. Well, that's going to be this devil soon. Okay. Let's go. I don't even like saying that no more because somebody was saying it, but stealing from brothers. Loan me $100. Ezel from Friday. You know, Ezel. How much can I get for a fall? Well, you done fail now with your games. Ezel from Friday, he's gone. Dr. Phil of Israel, all kinds of uh, bug outs. Where are we going? Let's close. We'll get one more good one. Yeah, let's get that one. Shout out to my brother. So Jake knows how to talk a good game. But doing all kind of their running game, though, behind the scenes. You see, yeah, I had somebody, you know, I was at, in D.C. And this guy got offended. All I asked him was, hey, yo, man, how much longer you got? You know, I got to use the bathroom like that, right? So he starts saying, you know, and I asked him, um, uh, please, like that, please let me know how much time you got. So he comes out, you know, you don't never disrespect me and cross me like that and all this stuff. Hey, man, don't talk my head off. I even apologize to him. But what the point being is Jake knows how to sound or talk, you know, make themselves big. They know how to like the puffer fish. He blows up with air to try to make himself look big. I'm a big man. You see, but really it's all air. The puffer fish, look it up. He just makes himself big. But deep down inside, a little scared man. Let's go ahead and close out the second Ezra 16. But every respectful to that brother. He comes out, you know, you don't cross me like that, you know, but they got demons on them though. They got demons on them. That's why they're doing all that right there. Demons. When I'm a man of action, don't talk my head off. If you're going to do something, do it. Just do it. Don't talk my head off. 2nd Ezra 16, let's go to verse 70. For well, there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. See? So our fear is nested with the Heavenly Father. We don't fear what man can do because the, the Most High controls evil. Good, peace, war. Read Isaiah 45 and 7. So the power source is what we're making a connection with. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So this man is getting ready to make a move. Those that follow the videos in truth and sincerity. Those are the teaching the truth. Heads are on the chopping block. Even our women are the following in faith. So this, this devil is going to come after the elect. Yeah, beautiful. Brother Kazak Bon Yahawda. I love that. Psalms 118 and 6. Let's get that. So we don't fear man. Especially Jake. He just loves to sound good or sound big. You don't know me. I go back to the old school. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. You don't know me either there, partner. Okay. Let's read this. Psalms 118. Well, we got to go up. Psalms 118 and 4. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endure forever. So he said he's going to save us. Well, that's what he's going to do. So that mercy is, is going to be demonstrated on the vessels of mercy created to be delivered. 
Remember Romans chapter 9. The vessels of mercy, that's Jacob. Read Romans 9. Psalms 118, verse 5. I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. And the elect is going to be taken up into the fathership. <laughs> okay? Not the Death Star from Star Wars. A fathership. What we would call a starship. Read Numbers 24. There shall come a star out of Jacob. If somebody can post that. My voice is starting to dry out. In Numbers 24 and 17. That's going to be the fathership. Where Yahavashai is personally going to crown his faithful servants, his men. Psalms 118. Let's go back to that. Psalms 118 and 5. I call upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? You see, I know jujitsu. Okay, whatever. All right? Bug out. Watch out for these puffer fish jakes. Just love them. Blow themselves up with air and look like a big man. But they're really a scared little man that just know how to talk well. A good game. They got talk game. That's it. Jake is good for that. Or the hypocrites teaching the Bible. But doing nigger shit behind the scenes. The Lord sees you. Boys in the hood type Negroes. Let's get ready to close out. <clears throat> 2nd Ezra 16, verse 71. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Even if we die in this truth, we really don't die. Our spirit is with the Lord. And the dead in Yahawashai, Hamashiach, are going to be raised up first to take the kingdom where they show waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Gurkha troops, UN militaries, hired mercenaries like BlackRock, all types of militaries, federal troops, e even local thugs, local thugs, barbarianism, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So the Lord is going to spiritually intervene, and the elect is going to shine. We change. So we're entering into some very exciting times. If you haven't watched the series Supercell on Netflix, I recommend you watch it. The ending sucks, though. I'm not going to give it away. But the endings look like Handyman came up with the, with the ending. Bug out. Beavis and Butthead made the ending of that series. But anyway, so we have nothing to fear but Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the king of terror. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises. To, to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Kadash. All praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Kadash. To the 144,000, and to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and to the beloved that are helping to post scriptures, edify the body, and feed the lambs of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. To you we say, Shalom and Barakat Thum, blessing to you all. And Kwan Yasharala, rise Israel, rise. The tabernacle of David is being reinstated and raised up from the graves, from the ashes and the dust of the earth. The Most High is going to reinvigorate mighty men from the days of old. 
not broke backs and simps. Your time is almost up, by the way. You broke back weak, scared men. Your time is almost up. It's over. It's over for you. See you on the next lesson, Lord Willing. Climb your Sharala and the Bible. The bow. We got next, Lord Willing. Barack a thumb. Shalom.